friends, it's Sunday the 22nd of July. It's actually my half birthday today. Um, so what I wanted to show you is a quick how-to on polishing silver. So I got these shakers yesterday. These ones are polished. These ones aren't. Um, and really, it's so fast and so painless that I thought, oh, I'll grab my camera and we'll do a short video. So, what I used for this is a rag, a toothbrush, and a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend. So I just put a little pile at the edge of my sink. I'm using, um, I'm going to turn on the hot water. Using a little hot water and your rag, just wrap it around the end of your finger. and. I'm sorry about the shadows here, but I need light to work. <laughs> and then just rub it over the surface. And you can probably see it's already taken the tarnish off. And I'm not scrubbing, I'm just, you know, a gentle rub. So let me rinse that off. So can you see how that's already taken the tarnish off? Um, it doesn't take very long. And the reason I've got the toothbrush is because um, some of the um, grooves and um, decoration is not, it's not going to be easy to get in there with uh, just a, a rag. This just takes off all the incrustations. This is not um, silver silver, this is silver plate. And, uh, um, you know what, for safety's sake, I wouldn't say um, use this on your family heirlooms. I think you might have to do uh, a little more effort with some old-fashioned silver cleaning techniques. But if you, uh, well, I know I often see silver plated items in thrift stores and at yard sales that are just really gross and nobody wants them because who wants to polish silver? Well, I find something very satisfying about polishing silver. So I got my toothbrush now. And just going in, it's a soft toothbrush. And make sure you go around the top and around the foot. Okay. So that's all it is. Um, I'll just give that a quick dry. I got some gorgeous silver plate, of course at uh, an auction a couple weeks ago and I did all of the silver up in this way and I put it in my booth and it's been selling. Some people actually prefer the look of um, tarnished silver, you know, to each his own. I actually prefer the look of tarnished silver but I don't think that's going to sell so, you know what the market wants. It's all about what, it, what is that? Um, supply and demand. So I got um, a pair of candlesticks. Uh, they weren't very high, maybe mm, four inches. And uh, it took me five minutes. I, well, first of all, I should probably say I got the whole box, like a box lot of silver. I think I paid um, $2. If I paid 4 I'm surprised. I'm pretty sure I just, uh, I got it for the, um, the open bid, for the $2 opening bid. Maybe I went as high as 4 but I don't think so. But anyway, the candlesticks were the first thing that sold. They came up beautiful. 
and I got $25 for those candlesticks. So if you're a reseller, you, it might be worth the effort to take a look at the gross dingy um, silver that you see at the bottom of the shelf in Goodwill and give this a try. Don't make a huge investment and um, let me know how you make out. Anyway, that's my tutorial for today. It was a short five minute uh, exercise in taking that tarnish off. Um, I'm also going to be doing some linens today. I've got my pot on the stove and I'm boiling up some linens. I, um, I got a huge Rubbermaid tote of linens yesterday. Um, that included a, a quilt. She originally wanted $30 for the quilt, but I talked her down to the huge Rubbermaid tote, the quilt, and all the linens that were in the tote for, I think I paid $15. Um, so, uh, I'm washing some of the things in the washing machine right now and some other stuff that has um, some more challenges. They are going into boiling water on the stove. Boiling water with, and I've got a couple of different uh, cleaners that I'm going to test. So when I figure out which one's the best, I will for sure let you know. Um, so I've got to get back to work. Here's a, a teapot I got yesterday, and it's got this interesting handle. I don't know if that that's some kind of, well, some kind of metal, and uh, I got a matching creamer and sugar. So I got to get to work. Anyway, have a great Sunday. And we, well, I guess it's several days after Sunday now by the time I get this posted. And uh, we will talk again soon. Take care.